Now I've been thinking about family trees of IP. Having a lot of IP can be an absolute blessing and it can be a curse. And I get that having messy notes, loads of paper, notebooks and ideas scattered everywhere can be a real challenge. I love playing with students to help them to find a way to see all of their IP in one space, like a master practice plan or an IP catalogue. Think about it as having a one pager that shows off everything you offer. I was talking to someone yesterday and thinking about IP as a family tree. So get out a pen and identify your children. How many children do you have? These will be the names of your main folders of IP. Underneath, list the products, the programs, the clusters that have been born from that IP. Physically seeing them as a drop down can be really revealing. How many babies has your child had? Getting a visual really helps. Looking at your visual, what is your first thought? Is it that I've got so many products under this folder? Which ones do I love and which ones do I profit the most from? Or are you thinking, I've only got one program in this whole folder. What else could I create for the people who have already been part of this program? Now have a look across your children and decide which one's your favourite. As parents, we get told that it's not okay to have a favourite. As a parent of four, let me tell you, there's always someone polling higher than others. Which is the favourite right now? Which folder is right right now? Which folder are you really feeling right now? That's your favourite child in this exercise. Which area stands out as one that you really enjoy or one that's the most commercially smart? Now these are two different questions because often the one you find you really enjoy is not always commercially smart and the one that's really commercially smart you're sick of, you don't enjoy delivering or you're not really into it for whatever reason. Maybe it's old, maybe it needs reinvigorating. So have a think about each of those offerings and how you feel. Part of the problem with being a thought leader is we spend a lot of time in our heads and we get very big on thinking and sometimes it's nice to step back and think about how does this cluster make you feel? Do you feel excited when you read this cluster? Do you feel drained? How does that make you feel? Do you have a big family of IP or just a little one? There's nothing wrong or right here. I've seen thought leaders with 12 different offerings in a market exhausting themselves and con absolutely confusing their market. I've seen others with four products that sit beautifully under three folders and it all just seems to work. If you are confused, your market definitely will be. Be very careful about confusing your market with too many offerings so they no longer know what you actually do or what they can call on you for. I know some very successful thought leaders who only have two products. They've got one baby with two grandchildren or two very modern children with no dependents. Sketching out your practice as a family tree is a great exercise to look and consider. It's a quick exercise, do it quickly, feel into it, I'd love to hear what you get out of this and what you discover in the process. Have a great day.